We are here at McGillicuddy's on the Water in Winter Haven, Florida. We're going to listen to some of the interviews of today's competitors. I'm here with Ron Bath, one of the legends of arm wrestling. He's been in wrestling for 32 years now. Ron, what brings you to an event like today? Um, you know, sometimes you just have a moment in life where you really get stupid. <laughs> I, um, I got chatting online and I told some guys that I would drop down to the 220 class just to uh, see what it was like because I used to win the world for nationals at 220. And over the last four or five years, I've been around 240-ish. And uh, Todd King, who's promoting this event, um, put me in this lineup without me knowing it. So I told him I'd take the challenge, see if I'd get the weight down and see how I would do. Well, I made the weight. Now we just got to see how we can do. So it's just one of them challenge things. You know, after you do so much, you just got to do something. You either got to go after the big guys or you got to lose weight and go after the little guys. So today I'm doing both. I'm going to go after the little guys on the right-hand side, and then I'm going to go after the big guys on the left-hand side. Well, you're smart on getting you here today. Um, I'm just, I am curious. You've been in arm wrestling for a long time. What brought you into arm wrestling? Uh, believe it or not, uh, it originally started off as a uh, quiet class when I was in high school. And I did pretty well. Well, that didn't make not know of it. I just knew I could arm wrestle. Uh, but the first year out of high school, they had a local tournament in northern Wisconsin where I was from. So I went to that, and I did really well. And about five years later, I moved down here, or I moved to Georgia. And without knowing it, I went to a small tournament, and I ran into about five world champions, two of which I started hanging out with. And from then, it's just been history. And then after that, you're in Stallone movies, you're all over the place. Everyone knows who you are. Well, thank you very much. Anything else you want to say? Well, I've never been in the Stallone movie. I went to his tournament. I went to the part of it, but I, I've watched it backward, forward, slow mo and I can't see any of it, but I was there when they filmed for the tournament of it, and I know most of the people in the movie, uh, but I have been around that long since Sylvester Stallone, and I know Sylvester Stallone is a little short because I walked right past him, and <laughs> if it wasn't for my wife being 5'2", we would not have not recognized him. <laughs> But uh, it's, been a, it's been a great ride. I mean, I've been all over the world and everything else. So I, I can't be, beat it for what it's brought me. All right, there you have it, one of uh, arm wrestling's legends. I'm here with Sean Latimer. Sean Latimer actually does crossover. He uh, does powerlifting, benched, what was it, 905? And now we're into arm wrestling. He's actually the favorite today for a left hand in the heavyweight, going against Ron Bass. So that should be an exciting matchup. One thing we got to point out here is look at this guy's hands. Go on, Seth. Let's compare this. We were just talking about this a minute ago. I don't think I'd want to go up against that one. Not at all. Are you excited to be here today? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm really happy I got to come down here. There's some great competitors here today, and I'm really hoping to tear all their arms off. <laughs> That's good. This one, he's, he claims he's from New Jersey. I don't believe him, though. He doesn't sound like he's from Jersey. But we'll see. Maybe it'll come out at him in the match. There's a big difference between North Jersey and South Jersey. I'm from South Jersey where the real people live. Uh, is that why you said New Jersey, not just Jersey? Exactly. <laughs> I'm here with Chris Chandler. He's been doing this the Lucky 13, 13 years, all the way from Wyoming. What brought you here today? Um, I was invited for this uh, Soul Survivor class. 100 bucks to get in and see who's the best. So. I heard you do another extreme sport. What's that? Um, I do powerlifting. Um, arm wrestling, anything with strength, bodybuilding, stuff like that. So. Gee, you don't look like that type at all that would do anything with strength. So how do you prep for a day like today? Um, not like the rest of these guys do. I just do the bodybuilding, do the powerlifting, stuff like that, and then hope to God that I'm ready for today. So. I'm here with Chris Kaufman all the way from Fort Collins, Colorado. Are you excited about today? What are you looking forward to? I'm just looking forward to getting in some more. <laughs> I want to I do some hard pulling today. After the break, we're going to meet our play-by-play -play guys. I'm Dale Vicos. What an awesome tournament we're looking forward to. We have guys from Colorado, Wyoming, California, New Jersey, Florida. Talking about Florida, I brought a pro here. Billy Nobles, 1988, 1989 world champion. Welcome, Billy. Thanks, Dale. Glad to be here. Oh, Dale, we got one heck of an event here. You got Todd King from Florida, Ron Bath come down from Georgia, 
Wilton Brock from Florida up in the Panhandle. Sean Latimer all the way from New Jersey. Carl Stanley right here in our backyard from Florida. Chris Chandler out of uh, Wyoming. You have Tom Nelson all the way from California. And Chris Kaufman out of Colorado. This should be one heck of an event. Let's bring it on. Started off at the 220 pound class, right hand. Now we have Carl Stanley and Chris Chandler. Chris Chandler come all the way in from Wyoming. We have Chris Kaufman and Ron Bath come down. What a legend. Let's see the match here. We got Carl and Chris Chandler. Yep, Carl's there to your left on the screen, right is Chris. We're into a referee's grip. Yeah, neither one on one to give up a, a top hand advantage here, so the referee's going to set them both equal. They'll, they'll both start from the center of the, center of the table. The referee is square, square away both hands, make both hands straight. Oh, right into a drop hook. Awesome. Chris Chandler's, two, Chris Chandler's something else on that. There you go. Next match. Ron Bath taking Chris Kaufman. Wow. This classic top roll right there. Oh, Carl Stanley hit Ron Bath real hard. The shoulder roll on Ron Bath there, beating Carl Stanley. Carl Stanley jumped up, he got a foul, he pulled his elbow off the pad there. Sure did. They're locking up, they're not giving up. Carl Ron is just, just staring him right in the eye. Right, it looks like Carl's setting up. He's going to come inside on him here, it looks like. Carl's trying to pull it his way. Nope. Oh, oh Ron, Ron Bath. Awesome. A classic top roll. Chris Chandler's on your right and Chris Kaufman on your left. Just competed Chris Kaufman in Brazil. World champion. The world champion. Both real strong pullers right here. Both real, real good top rollers. Oh, they hooked up. Yeah, good old Chris doing the hook again. Chris Kaufman on your left, Carl's on your right. Carl Hyland from Florida, up and coming. They're real tight. Oh. oh. Ooh. Nice over the top roll, Chris Kaufman. Ron Bath. Hey, Ron on Bath. Your left. Chris Chandler. Ron Bath sets up for a top roll. Oh, Chris. This is a hard pull. Chris right hooked here. him in. Oh, Chris always oh, got him in the hook. It's pretty comfortable right oh, here. Tight. Can't believe it. Was Chris going to oh. get it? Oh, my oh, gosh. Chris. Chris Chandler, Ron Bath. Awesome. Chris hooked him right in with that, pulled him right down. Yep, look at those guns of Chris Chandler. That's some serious guns for a 220 pound man. I tell you, awesome. You're watching Extreme Power TV. Ah! What's the attraction at Tilted Kilt Pub in Italy? It's more than our 30 draft and bottle beers. Or our mouth-watering menu. It's the best looking sports pub you've ever seen. Tilted Kilt Pub and Eatery. A cold beer never looks so good. All right, we got there Todd on the left. Ron Bath's on the right. Ron. Both set up for a top roll here. Oh, I'll tell you what. I. Todd, yep, he, as usual, he's trying, he's trying to creep up there. Yep. Oh, uh, Ron. Looks like Ron hit him with something there. I think, I think Todd might have pulled something on that one. Check out Will Brock on the left and Sean Latimer on the right. Oh, oh big dog, David, Sean. David and Goliath right here. I tell you what, but don't take Will Brock for granted. No, he's an animal. I tell you, total concentration. Oh, look at the top roll. Man, Will they're Brock. locked. Will Brock hit him with the top. The roll. winner. Oh, Will, Will Brock. Brock. Awesome. Classic top roll there by Carl Will. Stanley's on the left. Chris Chandler's on the right. Oh, nice shoulder roll. Oh, got a foul by Carl Stanley there. Yeah. Picked up his elbow, hit him too quick. But he had a had a nice shoulder roll that come in on him. Awesome. I'll tell you what, with Extreme Power TV here today, it's awesome. What a way to go. We're, this sport is growing leaps and bounds. Look at the refs. You got oh John Wilson, classic guy right there with Tom Perry. These guys. They still compete at times, but they are legends in their day. Uh, here they go, the ref setting them up, getting them square to the table, square their wrist off. Oh, Carl Stanley, total concentration, you can see it right there. Chandler, he's got it in tight. A lot of respect for both pullers here, neither one of them want to give up an inch. I tell you, they got to move it over to Carl a little bit. I tell you, even trying to get the grip can be exhausting itself. The referees will give you 30 seconds to get the grip. If you don't get the grip, then they're going to set you in on the referee's grip where both, both opponents are squared away at that point. If they move their hands once they're set from referee's grip, they'll both get a foul, or whoever moves their hand will get a foul. I like how they watch. Usually the guy who has the wrist away from the, uh, the head official is trying to turn oh, his wrist. Oh, there he goes. 
Carl Stanley Carl. come in with a real strong shoulder roll there. Awesome. Tom Nelson on your left and Chris Kaufman on your right. What do you think about these guys? Oh, again, you have a lot of respect. Neither one of them wanting to give up, give up much of the table, much of the hand. It's a lot of leverage here. California on the left and <laughs> Wyoming on your right. And you know, Chris, he was in Brazil oh. competing at the Worlds. Tom Nelson with a strong top roll. Foul to Chris, Chris Kaufman. Kaufman. Foul. Yep, they're going to do it again. I'll tell you what, these guys, Kaufman, he's in the zone. When, when the men are this, this much caliber, they both try and get as much edge as they can. Whoa, and again, Tom flash. Nelson. Tom Nelson. No time. Todd King on your left. Sean Latimer on your right. Todd's uh, a big guy. <laughs> when you look against Sean, I don't know. I, I tell you, wow, what a that's, size that's, difference. Yeah, Todd's a big man. Then you've got Sean Latimer up there. He's just, wow. And thanks to Todd, we're here today at McGillicuddy's Soul Survivor 2012. Oh, Sean Latimer come in with a real strong top roll there. Ron Bath's on your right. Chris Chandler on your left. This should, this be, a should match. be a real good match right here. And Ron's coming all the way down, 220 pounds. Oh, got him in a drop hook. I wonder if both he's... of them hooked in. Yep. Le left hand here. Yep. They're pulling. This is this here is exhausting. This is a legend right here, Ron Bath. Chris Chandler up and coming. He he's not giving it up. He's not going to do it. He's saying no. Oh, they're both hooked into a strong, strong hook. This takes a lot out of you. It's Ron's gonna... getting the top. Ron oh, takes it. Goes. Oh, what an awesome, awesome match. Oh, a match like that where they're hooked in in a round robin, they're going to have to go back to back with the other opponents. That takes a lot out of you. Wilt Brock on your left. Tom Nelson coming from California. Again, Wilt Brock, he's just, his uh, his top role is just a, a beast right now. Tom, I don't know what he's going to do. Tom Nelson wants a piece of him, though. Oh, oh that was a long-time rivalry right there for a couple yeah. years. Wilt Brock taking it. Carl Stanley on your left now, and Chris Kaufman on your right. This should be a real good match here. Look Carl, how high those fingers are. Carl Stanley setting to come inside. Oh. oh, oh, he dropped early. He jumped early there with a top roll. Very deceiving. But you notice they're not giving up the knuckle at all. No, both, they're, both opponents are. They, they're both getting as high on the hand as they can. As sure. much leverage as possible. Both a lot of respect here between the poolers. Very competitive right here on, on the table. You can see Carl just visualizing his win. He's visualizing it. Look at that. I'll tell you what. Chris Kaufman, he's, he's waiting on. Oh, that Chris Kaufman jumped early that time. Each one of them. One so foul on one, each one. Got one foul, one warning. I'll tell here you we, what. It's setting up strong right here. Neither one of them, neither one of them giving up much. This is it, though. Neither one of them can jump. They both have to be. Oh, what oh, a quick. Carl Stanley Carl come Stanley. inside. Awesome. I'll nice, tell you what, strong. Sean Latimer's on your left. Tom Nelson's on your right. I'll tell you again, big Sean oh, Latimer Sean from New Latimer. Jersey. He's takes looking him down. tough. That's oh. a lot of weight to be giving up right there. Chris Kaufman on your left. Ron Bath, the legend on your right. Oh, Ron, Ron Bath, Bath looks very comfortable here in the hook. He's got him. Yep, he dropped him hook nice. right over. Easy, easy there. Will Ron, Brock Ron Bath makes it look so easy in some of these matches. I'll tell you, Will Brock now on your left. Carl Stanley on your right. I think Carl Stanley, I tell you, this is the toughest matches he's been facing in a long time. Other than with Todd, I tell you, when you see Todd King and, and Carl, though, those are a match. But Will Brock on your left, Carl Stanley on your right. Both set up. Uh, Carl, Carl don't know what he's wanting to do here. He's changing his grip on him. Looks like looks like Wilt's got a real strong upper hand on him. You can look at that. Wilt's got his knuckle. Will, I mean, his thumb. He actually, Will Brock has a hold of his thumb and not letting go. Not letting go. He's mm -hmm. got Carl thinking here. Carl's not sure if he wants to top roll or come inside with Big Wilt. This is the part I say. It's 30% mental right here. You got the whole body concept. You got to have everything in it. It's not uh -oh, just the hand. They're going to a referee's grip here. They had 30 seconds and they couldn't keep it up. He's so now they're going into referee's grip. Nobody moves. You move, you're getting a foul. The ref's going to square him up, he'll set their thumbs, then he's going to ask them if he wants to wrap their finger, or wrap their thumb or not. By wrapping their thumb, Dale, all they do is they, they allow one finger to go over top of the thumbnail. But you have to, in order to start the match, you have to show the thumb knuckle of each opponent. Exactly, and you have to do it with the ref and wait for when he's ready to go. Now he'll, he's, set, he'll set them here, and once he sets them, he'll say, ready to go, and the match is on. There's no moving. Watch this, Billy. It's going to explode. I can just tell. It's going to explode. Oh. Carl oh. come inside. Wow, Wilt just pulled right through him. Pure power. Todd King on your left. Tom Nelson on your right. I'll tell you what. Uh, Todd uh, King don't look like he's in it today. It looks like he pulled something there at the beginning with Ron Bath. It appears to be. Chris Kaufman on your left. Chris Chandler on your right. This should be one heck of a match. Oh, both top roll. Look at their hands coming apart there. They're yeah. both on the top roll. Shoulders Pull separated. I'm surprised. 
But he's keeping oh, it locked Chris now. Chris Chandler's got him locked in. It's just overpower. Overpower. Check that out. Oh, big Sean. <laughs> oh, man. Carl Stanley. There's another David and Goliath here. I'll tell you what. These guys. Wow. I, I Sean, Sean's got to be. Pushing. How do you grip that hand? That, oh, yeah. That's a meat hook right there. I'll tell I don't you know what. what you do with that. Carl's got his shoulder in it, though. Oh, oh, Carl come in with a shoulder on the big man. He yep. just pulled right through him. Sean Latimer taking it. Look, Brock on your left, Ron Bath on your right. Oh, this should be a good match check, here. Check the hand, both of them right there. Trying to get those wrists straight, crank the hand closer to Wilt. Wilt's got one heck of a left hand right here. But now Ron Bath cut down to 220 pounds for this match so to go to the 220 class. So I don't know if he's up to up I, the bar I, I here. think he gave up some strength on this. Yeah. Check out explosiveness of Wilt Brock. Oh, wow. oh, I tell you what. Wow, Wilt just fired right through him. I think it's his day coming up. Todd King's on your right, Chris Kaufman on your left. Wyoming against Florida. Pay attention to Todd here. I really think he's, he, I think he he, he's not something. as normal, no. no. But uh, I tell you what, Chris Kaufman, he's been facing some tough matches along his way. But this is a true sport here. You, you won't bow out. Even if you're hurt, you're going to go up there and you're going to pull. You're yeah. going to give it what you have. This is, where, this is where Todd gets the hand. He's trying to get the hand grip right here. Yeah. He's grabbing a whole hand. He's not wrapping his thumb here. Nope. He's grabbing a whole hand like he's going to hook in. There's no top roll set up here. He's going to hook. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Here we go. They're getting ready. And Chris Kaufman, you can tell he's not happy with that grip, which means Todd is overpowering this grip. He's just, it's uncomfortable for Chris Kaufman. Yeah, he keeps backing out here. Yeah, he sure does. He keeps saying, hey, look. This this right here, now, now, now this is where the middle. See? Now Todd's got Three a meat times hook. Chris Kaufman has Todd's got a meat hook until you put him up against Sean. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh top oh, him out. Chris Kaufman. All that. Carl Stanley's on your left. Tom Nelson's on your right. Oh, this has been a long way to match here, too. This should be a real good match. Mm -hmm. Carl Stanley. He's usually on his game, but he's had some tough matches through the, these rounds here going up in this 220-pound class. Excuse me, the unlimited class, that is. Yeah, left hand. Both of these pullers are about 220 pounds, though. Exactly. They've just pounded the other rounds. Now they're in this class. Oh, pulling. Oh, wow. Tom Nelson pulling straight through with a drop hook. Will Brock's on your right. Chris Chandler's on your left. Oh, wow. This is a long-anticipated match here, too. I'll tell you what. The forearms of Chris Chandler and his biceps. And then you got Will Brock. Pure, just, just mechanical type his top, strength. His top roll is just an animal. He's a beast. There it Look is. At that. Look at him. Broke his Split. wrist right over. Took that jump. Ron Bath on your right against big Sean Latimer of New Jersey. Oh, I don't even. It, Ron Bath's got big hands, but. Wow. Sean's Sean huge. Latimer, huge. I'll tell you. You don't see that happen to Ron Bath too often. Talk. Oh, here we go. We got, oh. we got the trainer and the student. Got the superstar here. Now, this is look at this match you back and they, forth. They train together all the time. They don't want to give it up. Oh, straps it is. I'll tell you what, Extreme Power TV here at McGilly Cuddy's in Winter Haven, Soul Survivor Series 2012. I'll tell you what, Soul Collectors, Todd King, they really know how to put on an event. I'm sure glad the Profix brought in Stephanie, and of course we have Val Thompson here also today. Two great refs officials. You can't ask for anything better than John Here we go, John Dale. They, they slipped on the top between 10 and 2, so they're going to strap them up. Here it takes it takes a hand out of the equation. This is going to be all power. So neither one of them is going to get a top hand advantage here. They strap them up. You can't escape. The other thing is, too, which, which we understand, is when you're training with each other, and these two guys train against each other, they're on the same team. Now they're facing each other for this. Uh, but this is still, all, this is all pride. There's neither one of them going to give in to the next round. They're going to give everything they've got leading to the next round. It doesn't matter. They'll leave it all on the table right here. All previous matches, they're not even thinking about. They don't feel, I'll tell you what, you feel the strain, you feel the pain, but everything right now, this is the mental aspect of this sport. Yeah, this is tough loading up right here. Especially, especially when you go, you, and when I was talking about practice, you know what the other person, in this case, their style, the way they do it, where they're pulling from. And you train at your weak point, trying to beat anybody else's strong point. Exactly. Here we go. We're ready to lock it up. They're ready to go. Carl set up with a nice top roll. Todd here. doesn't want to give it up. Todd's coming back. He brought him back to the center. He looks pretty comfortable. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, he stood him up. Awesome. Oh, oh Carl another. with a good lunge right there. Yes, exactly. Can Todd come back with it? Is his shoulder starting to separate? He's got to get Todd's that shoulder got him in locked there. In. He's got him He's locked in. Bring him in. Bit. He's bringing him back. Oh, oh, that oh. was the last lunge right there. That was, he mm -hmm. fired on him. I think it's the best match of the round Robin series. Unlimited. Oh, Ooh, Carl with Carl. a parallel pin. Awesome. Give it up. Will Brock on your left. Chris Kaufman on your right. 
Can I get I those rushers? I don't know what you're going to do with, with Will Brock today. He's just. <laughs> he's on his game. Else, I'm telling you. Chris Kaufman, though, he's totally in the zone. Oh, Ooh. wow, what a hit. <laughs> I don't even think Chris Kaufman was ready for that one. No. Tom Nelson on your left against the legend Ron Bath on your right from Georgia. Oh, Ron Bath stopped him. Oh. Pulled him right over. Pulled him right over. Ron Bath oh. takes it. Tom Nelson wasn't too happy at first, but a great sport that Tom is. Chris Chandler on your left against big Sean Latimer on your right from New Jersey. This should be awesome. Oh, wow. What a hit by Sean Latimer there on that top roll. I'll tell you what. Will Brock on your left. Todd King's Todd on King your right. right. Again, like we said, Will Brock, I don't know if he's stoppable today. He sets up so high on that post. Yeah. Oh, what a top roll. Yep, you can see it. Ron Bath on your right, Carl Stanley on your left. Got the legend with the young guy here. Exactly. Oh, hey, Carl hey, Stanley hey, come in Carl. hard with a shoulder yeah. roll. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Ron Bath set on him, though. I'll tell you what, but nothing, right to, him. Yeah. nothing to be ashamed of for Carl. No, not at all. Sean Latimer on your left, Chris Kaufman on your right. Oh, Chris, I think Chris, Chris realizes there's a wall. I think that was a ready instead of the go. <laughs> I think so. But I think Chris realized, yeah, you can see on his face, it's a wall. <laughs> He's not moving him. That's, that's, He's not that, moving him. He just hooked him right oh, in and dropped straight down. Man, Look at those shoulders. Mammoth. Chris Chandler on your left. Tom Nelson's on your right. we got a Midwest and the West right here. Exactly. Wow. Oh, Tom, Tom Nelson. Nelson with a classic top roll there. This is Allie McQueenie, and you're watching Extreme Power TV. <laughs> When you combine mountains of mouth-watering food, ice-cold beer, and our world-famous Tilted Kilt Girls, it's enough to get anyone's attention. Hello, guys. Tilted Kilt Pub and Eatery. A cold beer never looks so good. We had an exciting and intense day of arm wrestling. I'm going to go ahead and have Billy and Dale do the wrap-up. Exciting. I'm pumped up. I'm ready to go. I'll tell you what. Those soul collectors, they put on one heck of a tournament, the new face of arm wrestling. Billy, what do you think? Oh, I'll tell you what. That 220-pound class we had, Chris Chandler is just an animal. He is a, he's some, something to be reckoned with. You have Carl Stanley coming up with that class. That 220-pound class is going to be something else. You have Wilt Brock in the Super Heavies there, the Unlimited. He's an animal. I don't know who out there is going to be able to pull with him. It, it makes me want to come out of retirement. You are, Billy. I'm telling you right now, I'll tell you, it is exciting. Will Brock, undefeated in the Unlimited with the Big Dogs. What an event. Val, we going to the next one? Of course we're going to be at the next one.